All right, what is going on, Laker fans? So first, let me just introduce this. This is Lakers Daily. Every single day, Monday through Friday, we're going to talk Lakers basketball. It's going to go up on all our social platforms. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure to follow us, ESPN LA, ESPN Los Angeles on YouTube, um, Lakers Talk with Alan Sliwa on YouTube as well. And uh, we'll have a different topic every day. So obviously, we're here, Lakers training facility. Lakers finish uh, their media day. And I want to get into a couple of things. First thing I'm going to get into is just kind of the vibe this year compared to last year. Last year, we all know the expectations. Lakers are supposed to compete for an NBA championship. You walk around, there's Hall of Famer after Hall of Famer everywhere you look. Dwight Howard, Carmelo Anthony, of course, Russ, LeBron, and AD Rondo. This year, a completely different vibe. And I don't really know exactly how to explain it. All I could say is it was definitely more business-like. Maybe that's Darvin Ham. Maybe that's just his mentality, how he approaches things. We got a chance to talk to Darvin Ham. Darvin Ham talking about how this year is going to be so much about competition for all the positions. The backcourt is not determined yet. I think this is one of the most interesting things that the Lakers have uh, so far this upcoming year. Who are you going to start in your backcourt? Is it Dennis Schroeder? Is it Russ? Is it Patrick Beverly? Is it Kendrick Nunn? Don't have an answer to that. And I think that's what, what makes this media day so much more interesting is we don't have those answers yet. One thing. I really want to make sure that I get into in this video. By the way, subscribe if you're on YouTube. Subscribe on ESPN Los Angeles. Subscribe Lakers Talk with Alan Sleo. We'd love to have you guys here. Let's, let's not sugarcoat it because I don't think we have to. The Russ thing is still a very weird thing. Uh, Russ obviously coming out today, gets a chance to talk to the media, um, and we're still trying to figure out what Russ's role is going to be with the Lakers. I want to go back a day ago where Russ got a t uh, chance to talk with Adrian Wojnarowski, and he's talking about, obviously, his role with the Lakers. A couple things came out in that. One of the quotes I'm going to read real quick. I'm all in on whatever it takes for this team to win. This is Russ talking to Woj. First off, I I've said this before. I say it to Travis all the time. He really does not have leverage that he maybe had a year ago. If Russ is going to further his career, if Ru Russ is going to be around the NBA for a couple more years or whatever the case is, um, he's got to adjust his role. Because with the Lakers, that role that he had last year just did not work out. So that sticks out to me, number one. And then the second thing here that Woj put out there was no assurances that Russ is going to start, no assurances that Russ is uh, that he'll remain with the Lakers through the, through the uh, rest of the season. My thoughts on that is very simple. The Lakers are not in a position, neither is Darvin Ham. If, if it doesn't make sense for the Lakers to start Russ, don't start him. If it doesn't make sense for Russ to close out a game because he's not having a good game and somebody else is playing well, then don't have him in there. And vice versa as well. If Russ is playing great and he has one of those games where he's contributing, he's rebounding, he's doing all, uh, all these other stuff, then you keep him in the game. Either way, I think the approach of how the Lakers will approach Russ this year is going to be so much different than last year, and I think that's a good thing for Lakers basketball. Now, they haven't even started a practice yet, so we got a long way to go to see how things work out, and anything can happen any time in the NBA, but at least for me, I like what Russ said, number one, and number two, what Woj is talking about, how there's no assurances, I think that's exactly how it should be. The only assurances on this team is LeBron James and Anthony Davis, and it should just be that. Okay, so just again, Lakers daily. Monday through Friday, we're going to do this. Please subscribe on uh, YouTube and make sure to follow us all on all our social platforms. Thank you for being a part of our official first one.